Hey, what is going on guys? It is Swordnan here. Welcome back to another Rocket League car design episode. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing the brand new Hot Wheels car, the MR11, or I'm just going to call it Mr. 11. I really think it's Mr. 11. But anyway, this isn't so a new car, but it is considered like a new to the free to play area. So yeah, it is the Hot Wheels car, Mr. 11. It does look very futuristic and a speedster type style. So yeah. As always, whenever I do a specific car design, I will be doing two cars, two car designs that are only for this specific car. So like the decal is only for this car. And then I will be doing two designs that will be available on every single car, but it might look better on this car. So you never know, but I'll explain that once we get to it. But yeah, make sure to use code SPOYDAN11 in the item shop. And if you guys have not hit the subscribe button, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to get up to date on my newest Rocket League videos. So let's get started with the first car design of the episode and kind of like a futuristic type style. So starting off, we do have the Mr. 11 car that's, you know, obviously unpainted. There is no painted versions of it, unfortunately. But yeah, for the decal, we have the die cast decal that comes with the Mr. 11. Now, obviously, there is a stripes decal on every single car in the game. But obviously, this die cast decal is only for the Mr. 11 car. For the colors for the primary of the blue side, we have a sky blue with the accent as like a white gray. And then for the primary for the orange side, we have a saffron with the accent as just a little bit of a darker gray. I'll explain in just a second. For the paint finish, both the blue and the orange side and the primary and the accent, we do have anodized pearl. For the wheels, for the orange side, we do have the, oh gosh, the Z-H-O-U G-F-P wheels. I always use them. I kind of forgot about this name for the blue side we are using the zhou gfp wheels painted sky blue so this is the blue side and the reason why i actually chose this type of style for design wise is because i feel like the mr 11 car is kind of like a futuristic slash speedster design so it felt like it needed something kind of like bright and like futuristic in a way so i decided to go with the anodized pearls now obviously it matches very nicely with the uh the wheels here it's got that anodized glow type feeling and that's the feeling that i was really going for the reason why i went for like a bright silver is because as you can see on the outside of the um car here it has a little bit of like a gray type style now you can set it to black if you would like a little bit of a darker theme and it does still look almost exactly the same but with the light gray that i had on it does have a little bit of a brighter look to it so you can either do that light gray or you could do a black and then same for this orange side here we have that saffron as the primary to match the glow of the wheels and then the accent is just as a darker gray again it looks a little bit of a darker gray in this one so i went with that but again you can do black it almost looks identical so it really doesn't matter i mean i'm looking at it so closely when i do my designs but i'm sure for you you guys are just kind of looking for something neat and cool you know so yeah for the boost we are keeping it nice and futuristic with the ion yellow for the orange side and then for the blue side we have the ion unpainted you can do the ion sky blue as well this is what the ion sky blue looks like um i'm typing it in right now but i do like the unpainted ion a little bit better because i feel like the sky blue is a little bit off but i feel like it still does look really good so you can choose between whatever one you want um, for the trail, we have the Hackswerve 3 Painted Sky Blue for the blue side. This one does match a little bit better. It is a little off, but still matches a little bit better. And then for the orange side, it is the Saffron Hackswerve 3. So this is the orange side. Again, matching it with the anodized pearl with that futuristic type style is something that I was going for here. I think it does look very, very cool. We have that primer as a saffron with that accent that's just as like a dark gray. So again, it really is up to you if you want to do just black. I'm sure there's barely a difference in that. And then same for the blue side here. We have that primer as a sky blue with the accent as that light gray. But again, you can choose a black if you want a little bit of a darker theme. That's what it looks like with the gray. That's what it looks like with the black. Again, not a super drastic change, but I always like to throw out the options. So yeah, getting into the next car design, we do have the Geodid design, the brand new black market decal of this season. And you may be wondering why on earth did I choose this design? Well, that is because I actually chose it because the Geodid, as of this moment, the black market decal actually takes over the sky, the side skirts or a wide body. As you can remember in the last design, when you go back and get rid of this decal, this gray thing is still here, right? You could still see that side, that wide body that's not covered by any colors, but you put the geodead decal on and it automatically takes up 
the entire car and that is something that looks so cool so that's why i actually put it on here as a design so starting off we do have the mr 11 car and then for the decal for both sides it is the brand new geodead decal the black market decal and then it's obviously unpainted it is unpainted uh for the cars for the primary for the blue side we do have a nice blue and then the accent is white but to be honest with you with this decal you can set it to so many things i mean like it doesn't matter it takes up the entire car and it looks phenomenal so it really doesn't matter what colors you do um maybe do a blue for the primary though just to get that main color but to match these wheels it really doesn't matter and then same for this side a little bit i did a crimson it is really hard for this orange side i will say but you can really do almost any color in the game um so it really i mean it's just like you know whatever choose your preference basically and it still will look good with these wheels for the wheels it is obviously the blade wave wheels just the normal blade waves that is the multicolored that i think does look very good um but again i mostly chose this design because it takes up the entire mr 11 type style um the mr mr 11 uh car body for the boost we do have the laser light for both sides to match that rainbow type style but you can also do the rainbow boost that you see here unfortunately the sound is very very annoying to me um it's just not something that i want to hear while i boost 24 7 so that's why i actually don't use it um you guys can't hear it right now because i turned off the sound a little bit um just because sometimes my computer decides to play music randomly and i don't want that to happen during the video so yeah i have the laser light uh boost and then for the trail it is also it's actually the rainbow trail but if you want to stay with the pattern because i've never actually seen this uh rainbow trail ever i've never actually seen it you can also just use the laser light unpainted that one also works very very well so nothing too big to worry about so you can either do the rainbow trail or the laser light trail it is up to you but so this is the car design again you can really this might be the first design where i say you can really choose any of the colors um it really doesn't matter um it's gonna look good on these blade wave wheels but for this blue side i will say try to use maybe like a blue i feel like some of these other colors don't get that really good rainbow effect so i feel like using a blue really gets all of them and you can really choose again any color you want it's gonna be in the rainbow so yeah all good on that one again the main reason why i did choose this is because it gets rid of entirely of those side skirts those wide body parts that i think looks really good when it's taken over like that so yeah i uh, get um oh my gosh so getting into the next design we do have Oh, I did forget to mention for the last design for this one right here, the Geodead design, I will say this does work on every single car in the game, but this is the only car that I've seen that actually replaces the outside of the car. So that is pretty cool. But anyway, getting into the next design here, we do have another specific car decal so this one is only available for the mr 11 or mostly almost all the hot wheels cars just saying so starting off we do have the mr 11 car body for both sides for the decal it is the sleek decal that comes on every single um uh, hot wheels car so if you like like a certain design on one of these hot wheels series car and you want to use it to let's say like another car sleek is on every single decal in um on the game like for hot wheels cars so just point that out there so for the cars we do have a primary as this nice dark teal and then the accent as a lighter deal and then for the orange side here we do have a crimson with the accent as white for the wheels and i never thought i would see the day that i would use these it is the glitteria painted crimson for the orange side so the glitteria wheels don't remember where those are from but for this blue side here we do have the unpainted glittery wheels and the, with the reason why i chose these wheels is because it kind of looks like glitter on the car whenever you use this sleek decal of course not to the fullest but it still does look really good and i'm a huge fan of this teal car so you can actually choose the accent color as black on this one to make it a little bit more of a darker themed but i actually set it to a little bit of a brighter theme because i wanted to show off those sparkles just a little bit more and then same for the orange side here we have the primary as a dark crimson and then the accent is white but if you want a little bit of a darker theme you can actually set the accent color to black unfortunately the sparkles again will not show up like fully but it still will look pretty good so yeah it is completely up to you which one you would rather do as the accent is black or the accent is black for both sides as well so yeah for the boost we have obviously sticking with the glitter theme it is the sparkles painted forest green now unfortunately i could not find any you know sparkles teal color because rocket league still has not made any teal painted versions which is 
totally fine teal is a pretty hard color but yeah we have four screen sparkles for the blue side and then for the orange side it is crimson sparkles so haven't used sparkles i think ever in this entire like my youtube career for the trail it is the hacksworth three painted crimson for the orange side and then for the blue side it is the forest green hacksworth three i don't think there's any sparkles trails sparkle is the closest one and that not happening not that no, not happening okay anyway so yeah hack swerve is the way to go for this one we have the four screen hack swerve three on the blue side on this one so this is the orange side again you can use any d or you can only use the sleek decal on the hot wheels cars and it comes with this glitter type paint finish that i kind of enjoy and it does look pretty good um so yeah and then same for this blue side here i use the glitter the sleek type style again it's not fully similar but it still does look pretty good if you're a fan of glitter so getting into the last and final car design of the episode we do have the sticking with the racer slash speedster type design we have flame lane definitely one of my favorite decals so starting off we do have the mr 11 body for both sides and then for the decal it is the flame lane unpainted for both sides for the colors for the prime of the blue side, we have a blue with the accent as white. And then for the prime of the orange side, we have a orange with the accent as black. And I'll explain why I flipped the colors on this one for just a second. For the wheels, they are the Haunted Hoss wheels painted orange for the um, orange side. And then for the blue side, it is the Cobalt, Cobalt Haunted Hoss wheels that do look very, very good with this flame line decal so this is the blue side obviously we have the main color as blue to match the main color of the haunted hoss wheels and then the accent is white when the flame lane kind of goes through a car obviously it looks so similar to the haunted hoss wheels i think the design looks phenomenal plus it also looks very clean with the mr 11. this is another one of those decals that you can use on every single car in the game but there's some decals that may look good on other cars like this one this flame lane really gives it that like speedster type vibes and it does look very good with these haunted hoss wheels and then for this orange side here we have that primary as an orange and then the accent as black again the reason why i chose the accent color as black for this one is because this orange side is a little bit more of a darker themed while this blue side is a little bit more of a brighter themed as you can see at the bottom here there's a little bit more of a white then this side, granted, there is still a nice light orange, but it's not exactly white. So that's why I decided to do a little bit of a darker theme for this orange side. And as you can see, the side skirts or the wide body parts are still there and not on the geodead. So that was pretty cool. Um, for the boost, it is the Radiant Gush painted orange for the orange side. The reason why I love Radiant Gush with the uh, decal is because it matches the pattern and the wheels so perfectly and then for the blue side here we do have the radiant gush painted cobalt um looking absolutely phenomenal obviously matching so well with the decal and the wheels for the trail it is the cobalt hacksworth 3 for the blue side and then for the orange side it is the cobalt hacksworth 3 painted orange so this is the orange side again absolutely such a phenomenal decal that can be used on every single car in the game but maybe you like it a little bit more with the mr 11 um car but it does match very, very well with the Haunted Hoss wheels, I will say. And the color combination looks phenomenal. Same with this blue side here. We have that primary as a blue and white looking absolutely fantastic with these Haunted Hoss wheels. Now, before I end the episode, I actually do want to show you guys something. Um, for a lot of people out there who have the previous um, 50th anniversary Hot Wheels wheels, um, as you can see, these are a legacy item at the current moment. So unfortunately, if you did not get them previously, you won't be able to get them again unless they come out in the item shop. But that is what they look like. And there actually is a um, Hot Wheels decal 50th anniversary for this car. Um, there is not, I don't think. I don't think there actually is. Oh, there is. Okay, I was like, wait a second. Um, so you do have a Hot Wheels 50th anniversary decal that surprisingly you cannot change the color. For whatever reason, you cannot change the color. So I just wanted to show this out there for um, anybody who does own these 50th anniversary wheels. Again, they are a legacy item. So if you don't have them, unfortunately, you will not be able to get them. But I thought I might as well shoot this design out there. So maybe you can think about it if you want to like use it or so. Maybe rock the OG wheels. So I didn't want to make it a full design though. But for the boost, I would definitely use black standard or something really clean. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode.